Nowadays, everything intertwines in a chaotic world of tangled, divergent intersections, paths interlaced and intermingled, unrest and constant movement through which it seems hard to find the way. Happily, there are tools to help us find our way, to give us directions, organize our journeys. In other words, make order out of chaos. These tools are the satellites. For years, satellites have provided relays for telephones, radio, television, internet, and we no longer pay any attention to them. They are assisting and guiding us more and more, helping us in many different ways. Nowadays, they help us to drive using what we call navigation by satellite, a service for any journey on or around the Earth. Europe has developed Galileo, a joint project between the European Space Agency and the European Commission. Galileo will be a constellation of 30 satellites orbiting at an altitude of about 24,000 kilometers, assuring a truly worldwide network. There are many uses for Galileo, from the simplest route guidance to the most complicated. Galileo will improve search and rescue operations. Wherever he may be, an injured person will be able to send a distress signal giving his precise position the network records the SOS and can instigate the rescue operation at the site of the accident with a vital saving of time. When we drive, Galileo will tell us the best route to take to avoid jams and we'll have an overview of the traffic flow on the road networks. It will make it possible to manage fleets of taxis or lorries. Everything that moves on road, rail or air will benefit from this assistance from outer space. Take aviation, for example. This will provide added safety for flights, especially at tricky times during takeoff and landing. At sea, the satellites will be the new stars to steer by. The basic principle of satellite navigation relies on analysis of the difference in time between the receiver and the satellites that are equipped with atomic clocks. The receiver measures the time it takes for the signal to reach it and calculates the distance. The position is obtained by cross-checking the signals. The receiver carries out a triangulation process with the satellites as reference points. It needs the data from at least four satellites in line of sight from the receiver to have the best information about position, time and speed. Europe will be equipped with a system capable of guiding us from anywhere to anywhere and available all over the world. The advantage of Galileo, unlike the American GPS system, is its civilian character, guaranteeing continuity of access and signal quality. Galileo will completely change our daily lives and also attest to the independence of Europe in a new industrial conquest. <laughs>